Hey, what's going on everybody? I'm your host, Cameron, and today we are going to be doing part 9 of the tutorial series on how to make a 5 Nights Freddy's fan game in Clayton Fusion 2.5. This episode will be talking about time, so making a 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m. system all the way up to 6 a.m., which will then take you over to a 6 a.m. screen and then launch you to the next night. And that's pretty much the whole synopsis of time. It's very simple and it sounds very simple on paper and it's also very easy to code in as well this will probably probably be one of the easy probably one of the easiest tutorials we've ever done in this entire series um so you can take a break from all of those like animatronic ai goofy goober like shit and just take a break and do time because time is super super easy and our 6 a.m. screen is pretty much going to be just like our game over screen. I'm going to load it up. So basically, our game over screen has like a static fade like that, and then it fades out and then says game over. But of course, it's going to be say 6 a.m. Now, I think I might get rid of the static at the beginning for the 6 a.m. and just take it right to game over. But or, I mean, uh, 6 a.m., but you know what I mean. <clears throat> so, and that, that's pretty much it so I think we should just get started right into this so first of all you want to go right click insert object go over to string press ok and we are going to go over to text options um, I'm gonna go over to terminal and I'm gonna go to font 20 you don't have to do this but I'm just gonna go this because it's kind of the same as everything else change the color to white and I'm gonna go stretch it out put it over here and I'm going to title this time that's it just time and i'm gonna go double click into this and i'm going to type in 12 a.m there we go and while i'm at it i'm actually just gonna right align this too because i think it looks better but it's not too good so we have our 12 a.m right there and once you have that down um select your time um, go over to settings and where it says um, settings and text and paragraph one make uh, six more paragraphs and these are going to be our times this is just basically going to be our time and our progression throughout the night so paragraph two is going to be 1 a.m. because if you, since we already typed in 12 a.m. It's automatically gonna send it to the first paragraph because that's the first thing we type into there But for paragraph 2, I'm gonna type in 1 a.m. For paragraph 3, I'm gonna type in 2 a.m. Um, for 3, for paragraph 4, I'm gonna type in 3 a.m. And I'm actually gonna have to make another paragraph for 6 a.m. But for paragraph 5, type in 4 a.m. Shit. For paragraph 6, type in 5 a.m. And we're gonna have to make a new paragraph and uh, type in 6 a.m. And that's pretty much it for the paragraph. Um, so basically, oh shit, you wanna make sure that you have six paragraphs all, or not, you wanna make sure you have seven paragraphs, 12 a.m., 1 a.m., 2 a.m., 3 a.m., and all of that. And once you have that, we can go straight to the coding section over by the event editor. And what we wanna do is we wanna go over to right click, insert a group of events, and we're gonna type in time and for new condition we're gonna go over to new condition uh store by controls start a frame go over and go over to time right click and we are going to set paragraph to one paragraph one which is 12 a.m and once you have that done we want to go over to new condition we want to go over to the timer and we're gonna say every and we're gonna say every one minute once you have every one minute go over to time right click next paragraph so basically um it's just going to go to the next paragraph every single time until it reaches 6 a.m and we're going to go over to new condition we're going to go over to the timer we're going to go over to is timer equal is timer equal to a certain time and we're going to say after about six minutes and i'm gonna, and i'm going to do this optionally you do not have to do this but i'm just going to type in like 20 hundredths of a second because i want to be able to show the player like the 6 a.m at the top right before the end of the night like you know it goes 1 a.m because if you type in just it's time equal to a certain value six minutes and zero everything else 
then it's automatically just gonna be like oh you win the night without even seeing the 6 a.m kind of thing paragraph up there you should type in 10 you don't have to do that but i'm just gonna do that um and you're gonna go over to um well actually we need to make a new frame but once the timer equals six you know six minutes i think i typed in right yep then we're gonna go over to the storyboard controls and then go jump to frame 6 a.m but we actually need to code in a 6 a.m or like uh we we'll have to make a new 6 a.m so we're gonna go right click new frame we're gonna type it type in 6 a.m shit 6 a.m awesome and we're not gonna worry about that for now because i well we are soon we're gonna go over to timer equals uh, six minutes. We're gonna go over to story work controls right click jump to frame 6 a.m. So if we load in the night and I'm actually gonna pull down the shot that menu so we can see the time up here um, Basically uh, when this equals six minutes, it's going to take us right to 6 a.m So I'm gonna close all of these and we're just gonna wait And once this also reach 1 a.m. Or like one minute Boom that also reaches 1 a.m. Forgot to show that off to you guys, but since this up here uh, said it's saying one minute and ten seconds now, but when it reaches like two minutes, it's gonna say two a.m. and then all that, basically. Oh uh, yeah, and I forgot to say this too, but um, make sure you uh, press um, what is it? Be sure you press this button up here, which is uh, run the application and don't run the frame like I just did. Because I was sitting there for three minutes and I realized that I ran the frame and not the application. So I have to start all over and wait again. Alright, in 20 more seconds, we will be sent over to the 6 a.m. screen. Or, which is technically just a white square. So once this reaches 6, and once this reaches 6, we should just see white. Correct? Yep. It works awesome and I'm actually gonna reactivate all my power um, I'm not gonna lie I accidentally died like three times trying to beat that all right anyway so we're done with this segment and now we can just go right into our 6 a.m. segment so basically what we're gonna do first is we're gonna go insert object um, we're gonna go backdrop where's that backdrop we're gonna double click into it go over to size 1280 by 720 apply um, clear this get your fill tool uh, change the color to black and then just make it black and then just snap to create it in and boom we got a back black background once you got that in we're gonna go layers toolbar new layer layer 2 right click insert object go over to string we're gonna go rename this to 6 a.m. All right. Um, we're gonna go extend this out. Go over to text options, color, white, font to a terminal. Terminal and then 20. Awesome. And we're gonna type into this 6 a.m. And then we pretty much have that done. I'm gonna just resize it a bit. Oh, never mind. And then I am going to bring it down here, and that looks good. All right. Cool. And what I'm gonna do next is I'm actually gonna insert um two new objects. It's gonna be actually maybe I don't think I'm gonna insert two new objects. I think what I'm just gonna do is I am just gonna go insert some uh, some static. So I'm gonna go over to layers toolbar. I'm gonna add in another new layer. Go over to layer 3, right click, insert object, and just go active, and then rename this to static. Double click into it and just insert some static. I've showed you this plenty of times, so I'm not going to show you this again, but I think you get the idea. Once you have all your static input or, or imported, go over to view hotspot, hold down all and press the middle square. <clears throat> go over to direction options, I'm going to change the speed to 99 and I'm going to loop it. Um, yeah, it looks good. And then I am going to insert that. I'm gonna lay it over my uh, 6 a.m. screen and we can now get to the coding section. I'm gonna go over to event editor. <coughs> I'm gonna go over to one. I'm gonna go to new condition. Uh, store by control, start a frame. 
I'm gonna go over to my static tool gonna go right click alterable values and this is just so that the static will fade in once you know well as soon as you load the frame static will automatically just fade in so I'm gonna go over to alterable values and I'm gonna set it to one I'm gonna set that to one I'm gonna go over to new condition go over to static um, go over to compare to one of the alterable values and when alterable value a is equal to one go over to static go over to effect set alpha blending coefficient click on static effect alpha blending coefficient and then go plus three i think it's plus three but it could be minus three we're gonna find out so basically what will happen is whenever i load the frame since this static is already set to its fullest like it's at zero coefficient blend coefficient it's gonna add three every basically every millisecond that i have this set to one which will be automatically so this should work yep we have our 6 a.m screen awesome um and then for this tutorial specifically i'm not gonna be able i'm not well i'm not gonna be able to but i'm not gonna code in like another frame um because that's actually gonna be used for our next tutorial which is going to be um our next tutorial is going to be multiple nights, which that is going to be confusing. So I'm not going to make a new frame for that right now. But that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it for the whole tutorial. We made it so that you go to night one. Uh, when this reaches 6 a.m., you go right to 6 a.m. And then since we haven't coded anything in, um, it's not going to take you anywhere. Um, but actually, I think what we could do in the process instead is go over to start a frame, go over to the timer, Fire event after given delay, after 10 seconds, and we're going to rename this event next night. Copy that down, go over to new condition, the timer, on event, next night, and then we'll code that in for the next episode. And uh, yeah, that is it for the tutorial. If you guys enjoyed this episode and you want to see more, let me know in the comment section down below. Like, subscribe if you want to fun guys, and I will see you guys in the next episode. See you guys.